here is a typical record in the astronomy records of the book of the Han Dynasty. And it's actually dated the 9th of March, 5 BC. And translated it reads, in the second month of the second year of Jianping, the comet was out of Altair, which is a star, for more than 70 days. Imagine a comet in the sky for more than 70 days. And the Chinese say it is said that comets appear to signify the old being replaced by the new. Altair, the sun, the moon and the five stars are in movement to signify the beginning of a new epoch, the beginning of a new year, a new month and a new day. Now, Altair is a star in the constellation of Aquila. And Altair is the brightest star in the constellation of Aquila. And the Chinese astronomers said this comet that appeared for more than 70 days came out of this star. Well, that's how it appeared to them. It's the 12th brightest star in the universe. It's the uh, brightest star in this constellation. And it says in the astronomy records the appearance of this comet undoubtedly symbolizes change. The extended appearance of this comet, more than 70 days, indicates that this is of great importance. Now if you calculate more than 70 days from the 9th of March, it'll bring you into around mid to late May. So this thing was in the sky from the 9th of March to around the middle or the late May, which is the warmer time of the year for Israel. We've always said as a church that Jesus was not born in December because it was too cold. The Chinese, not knowing what they were observing, saw a comet in the sky for more than 70 days from March through to May. The end of March in Israel is the beginning of summer. And it goes all the way through to October. Here's another record in the uh, chronicles of Emperor Guangwu. It's dated 31 AD. Translated, it reads, <coughs> Summer, fourth month of the year on the day of Ren Wu, the imperial edict reads, Yin and Yang, darkness and light, have mistakenly switched and the sun and the moon were eclipsed. The sins of all the people are now on one man. Pardon is proclaimed to all under heaven. The Chinese had no idea about Jesus in 31 AD. No Christian missionary would have gone to China because Jesus had just died. There weren't any Christian missionaries. And yet in their soul, in their spirit, they recorded this incredible statement in their history of the latter Han dynasty. And in their soul, they said this, this mysterious, unexpected darkening of the sun. The sins of all the people are upon one man. And pardon is proclaimed to all under heaven. They didn't know what they were writing. And it says here in the Annals number 18, of Gui Hai, eclipse on the day of Gui Hai, man from heaven died. They had no idea what they were writing. But the Holy Spirit would have spoken to those Chinese astronomers and the emperor, and in their soul, in their heart, they sensed that this unexpected darkening that lasted for three hours had something to do with a man in heaven dying, from heaven dying and pardoned for the sins of the world. The Bible tells us it was about the sixth hour and there was darkness over all the earth until the ninth hour. Three days later, the Chinese recorded a rainbow that encircled the sun like a halo. 
during the reign of Emperor Guangwu on the day of Bing, Bing Yin of the fourth month of Jian Wu, a halo, a rainbow encircled the sun. And that's found in the history of the latter Han, Annals number 18. And that is the resurrection of Jesus Christ. And I put it to you this morning, folks, that the ancient Chinese recorded the date of Christ's birth, the date of his death, and the date of his resurrection. 